Maya takes a quick look at the pack and decides it's pretty safe. As she opens up the pack, a poisonous scorpion crawls out and stings her arm. Maya is poisoned and in a lot of pain. Wait, like bad poison? Oh my god, that's the deadly poison! Are you serious? I just started! I haven't played with Jungle Adventure in a really long time. I can't even remember when I last visited Selva Dorada. I use this pack and build so often, but I feel like I always kind of forget about the gameplay. So I thought today we could try to revisit Jungle Adventure and maybe go on a jungle adventure. I made this to Maya and her last name randomized to Meadows, which I felt like was kind of appropriate for this. I tried to give her some useful traits like loves the outdoors and she has the jungle explorer aspiration. I think we should start in summer to avoid the risk of freezing while we're out camping. Although I guess the heat might not actually be that much better. There's actually a couple ways that we can die while doing this, but um, we'll, we'll just hope for the best. First things first, we gotta take a vacation because because we need to go to Selva Dorada. And I think that I'll stick us in maybe the cheapest of these places. This one's only 216 per day. So that could be a good place to start. And I'm gonna give us a max of seven days because we're gonna need time for this. I don't think we'll actually spend all that much time here in this home because I mostly wanna spend my time in the jungle, but it's nice to have a home base. So our aspiration wants us to buy three goods off marketplace tables, eat a meal and view a statue. Should I have picked like this archaeologist one wants us to actually like excavate and dig stuff. Maybe I should have gotten that one. Well, either way, we're going deep into the jungle. It looks like they gave us a couple items already. We've got some spider repellent and a jungle machete, so that'll be useful. We can go to the marketplace though, and we can try and buy some more gear from down here. And I think I might do that. We've got a lot of money, so no, I'm not gonna. Okay, I'm actually on a different vacation, <laughs> so I don't want to go do the Star Wars stuff right now. There's some grilled cheese ready to eat. I don't know how much spider repellent will be necessary for us, but I'm just gonna get as much of this as we can because we've got money and it won't hurt for us to have gear. Oh, more machetes. Okay, that's actually useful. Well, we got plenty of food. They're not selling any water right now, which is kind of inconvenient. Oh my god, we're already overheating? See, I told you we had to worry about this. I only gave her like one or two outfits because I felt like if we were gonna be in the jungle, she'd probably not have brought a large selection of clothes. I I feel like I should have packed more things. Like I should have brought a sleeping bag or something, but unfortunately, um, I did not think that part through. That's fine. I got spider repellent and knives. Um, I think that maybe we should just start. I don't know if this is a dangerous idea, but like worst case scenario, she dies. And that might actually be kind of fun. This lot is kind of a good home base for us because it kind of starts here, but I might even put a tent and stuff down. Although we may end up spending the night in the jungle, <laughs> probably multiple nights in a row. So I'm sure it'll be fine. Let's clear the path with our machete. The machete may be lost by doing this, but it does do it faster and it won't hurt us. So I say we just start there. Oh my God. All right. <laughs> There's even a sim over here. Are you coming into the jungle? Read poison awareness posting. Preparation checklist. Oh, <laughs> perhaps I should have, have read that. I guess there is a very obvious sign. If we get poisoned, then so be it. Okay, well, carnivorous vines. Maya is having a really enjoyable hike in the jungle when she suddenly hears a sim screaming a short ways off. She sprints in the direction of screaming and finds a sim that is being menaced by a carnivorous plant. I can grab the sim and run, create a distraction, or confuse the plant with spider repellent. I've got a lot of spider repellent. Should I just try that? Desperately trying to figure out any way to save the other sim, Maya tries to use some spider repellent. The gamble pays off and the plant slithers away. The other sim is so grateful that he gives Maya a bunch of stuff that he collected. Ooh. Oh, it's just fossils. That's boring. <laughs> I don't want that. I want the good stuff. Okay, there's also a bunch of bees here, which is kind of alarming, but we've been brought to the next area. So this is kind of how jungle adventure works. There's a few different paths that you can take. So we could use this one. We could try and cross this bridge and come up here and go through this path. There's also a woohoo bush, which is nice. We might end up sleeping in there and, and probably using it as a bathroom. There's also some trees. Oh, we should harvest that. Yeah, that's gonna help us. <laughs> We've only got this grilled cheese, so it might be helpful to have some extra options. Should we go through this path first? Cause it's closest. Hopefully I don't regret this. So these different pathways kind of end up different each time. And then there's the chance cards that pop up. So you kind of have some story 
story. Abandoned pack. Maya stumbles upon what appears to be an abandoned campsite. Clearly, a previous adventurer had been through here as there's the remains of a small fire and an old tattered knapsack. There might still be something valuable inside or something dangerous. Should Maya investigate? Leave it alone, search for useful gear, search using machete. I'm not doing that because I don't want to consume the machete. We could search for useful gear. We don't have a high logic skill, so <laughs> we in fact don't have any skills. Okay. Maya takes a quick look at the pack and decides it's pretty safe. As she opens up the pack, a poisonous scorpion crawls out and stings her arm. Maya is poisoned and in a lot of pain. Wait, like bad poison? Oh my god, that's the deadly poison. Are you serious? I just started. Oh, okay. Well, this is fixable. If we like went back and researched the cure and stuff, I might just let it happen. <laughs> <laughs> I think it might be fun. Feeling icky from being stung by a scorpion. Something isn't right. This icky feeling could either go away on its own or get worse. Only time will tell. Maybe acquiring an antidote would be the safest. Oh my god. <laughs> How do we get the deadly poison like two seconds into doing this? I swear I think my sims are cursed sometimes. I'm gonna let her go through and try and excavate all this stuff because there's like treasure chests we can open and everything. I'm regretting coming to this area. I better get some good stuff. I did get this relic. We'll have to look at this stuff once we get back home. Assuming we make it long enough to get back home. I don't know. We'll have to see. Oh, wow. That treasure chest had a couple oh, more relics. A Faraday fizz, which is a bubbly drink that removes the ill effects of one too many encounters with electricity. And a chaos relic base. <laughs> Sounds about right. I think we've got time. I think we should have a couple days until she dies. So hopefully we'll be okay. I got some ancient bone dust too. I don't think there's anything else useful here. So I guess we can just go back. Oh, you can like fitness. You won't have that much time to like fitness, but I guess you can enjoy it in your final days here. All right, well, we got to send her all the way across the bridge over there. Her being dazed is like really inconvenient. <laughs> that is extremely unfortunate timing. Well, she also gets this flirty moodlet from these waterfalls. I've brought my sims here to get engaged a lot. Back in, oh my god, there's something in the air and that something is a whole bunch of lightning bugs. As they make their way for Maya, she wishes she had a bit of lightning insulation powder or maybe had learned a bit more about how the locals handle these insects. Well, you know what? I did get that stuff. So that should help us. Yeah, that, that's unfortunate. Oh my god. This won't kill me, right? It's just like a subtle, oh no. Seriously fried. Okay, well, let me get some screenshots. <laughs> we need to take these memories while we can get them. So if I drink this, it should help me, right? Oh yeah. Oh good. Okay, it's like I never got stung. Perfect. Let's go clear the path again. <laughs> we haven't even gotten into a temple and we are already dying. Mysterious pedestal. Maya pulls back a curtain of vines and discovers a strange clearing in the jungle. There's a pedestal with a relic on top surrounded by a circle of totems. The totems' faces are fixed in a permanent snarl that strikes fear in Maya's heart. Should she turn back or check out the totems? Okay, well, I can't disarm them because I don't have any. <laughs> I can leave it or check them out. You know, the last time I checked something out that I shouldn't have, I got a disease that's going to kill me. So maybe I'll just leave them. Maya decides the best thing to do is turn around and take the long way around. The long way around turns out to be really long and full of thick jungle. By the time she reaches the far side of the clearing, she is completely exhausted and needs to take a break. Oh no, really? Okay, I'm tired and I have to pee. Are there any like pee bushes? Oh good, okay, let's come take a nap then. We've got a few options. It looks like we could come this way, we could go in here or we could go through here. I don't know if going in these places at night is a good idea, but I'm just gonna have her keep napping until she's a little bit better rested. Am I being attacked by bats? It's plasma bats? The winged horde sets their sight on Maya. If only she was a bit more fit or had some plasma bat bait to distract them. Oh my god, I got bit by bats. That's too. I even tried to come prepared. I did buy some things in the jungle place. It's not like I came here completely empty handed. Like I brought some stuff. Okay, well she ate her jungle thing. Okay, well we slept a little bit. We can't go into this path because it's sealed shut, but we can use either this one or this one. And I kind of want to go in this one. Oh, there's more over here. This is the thing. So you can't go in here on this trip, but like maybe next vacation will be open. So that way it's a little bit different each time you come. This place is pretty, All right? Each time we get into one of these, I get scared. <laughs> Carnivorous vines. Oh, let's do it again. This is the same thing as before. So we'll try and use the spider repellent. Oh, and it's the same. So we got some stuff from him. Ooh. Yes, I would like to send Maya to the temple. Thank you. Well, it's our first time in a temple. I want to look around a little bit and see what we can find. Maybe I'll let her nap while I do that. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's dark, but we can harvest all of this. What is that? Tree of emotions? Oh, Maya was successfully able to overcome being poisoned and is feeling much better. Oh, good. Oh, so we're not going to die. Oh, that's actually kind of disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> what did we get? So we have the stuff from that guy. I think we just got more of the fossil rocks, but we also just got a bunch of these berries that change your sims emotions. 
so we can get confidence, we can get focus. I'm already feeling focused, so maybe I'll just eat my avocado for now, <laughs> and then we can go into the temple. I'm a little bit nervous about what to expect here, but we can try and come in. I don't think there's anything interesting on the top floor. This middle floor has something we can excavate. And now we don't have to worry about dying, so we can like actually go home and get a chance to like look at all these artifacts. <laughs> oh, inside there's some plants. Oh, I can harvest the tomato. That's actually really good because that gives us some food. I can harvest the black bean and these plantains. Oh, that's a relief. Okay, so in this temple, I'm seeing some stuff that we might need to worry about, um, like these. <laughs> and more importantly, this. Uh, maybe if we try to activate this, it'll let us go through here? I'm gonna examine it first. Loma. Some of these triggers won't work to unlock the gate, but that doesn't rule them all out. Okay, so it did rule out these two. Do we just try the other ones <laughs> and see what happens? I mean, it might like set me on fire or something, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh no. Oh, that didn't seem fine. Goodness. Okay, of course I was wrong. That's annoying. Oh no! Oh dear. No, don't go to the bathroom. Maya thought that this trigger might open the temple gate, but instead she was ambushed by a mystical force that frightened her half to death, and I peed my pants? Oh, here we go. All right, you're gonna have to suffer. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're not going back home. Did this not work either? Oh, well, I thought maybe we would have to do them both, but perhaps it's only this one that has to be done. <laughs> perhaps they don't both need to be used. Sorry, sorry. Look, I haven't played this in a long time, so I'm a little bit out of practice, and honestly, Honestly, it's kind of fun when bad things happen to your sims, so. Ah, that did rule out three of the four. Okay, so that's useful. <laughs> Hopefully this one works. Oh yeah, that was fine. Okay, we're through. So down here, there's some more stuff that we can excavate. Ooh, creepy. Okay, we can try and examine this too. I've been blessed with a personal sun. This warm source of positive energy will brighten Maya's day. Oh, that's really nice. Too bad I'm too embarrassed from peeing myself. It's not like anybody saw. So I don't know why you're so worried. Like nobody's in here. <laughs> Nobody knows that you got so scared you peed your pants. Unauthenticated knife. Oh, we've gotten some pretty cool Cool stuff. Oh, and my embarrassment went away? Oh, perfect. I've also gotten a couple skills. Not a lot of skills, <laughs> but a couple skills. Stop. She's trying to leave the whole temple. Don't do that. Okay, let's pull the left or right. Let's pull the left warrior's weapon. Did it work? No. Okay, right warrior's weapon. Oh, that worked. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't think there's anything good in here, but there are two separate parts that we need to worry about. Oh, I'm gaining a bunch of skills. Look, I got charisma from that. Ooh, that didn't work. Now I'm sad from low social. Oh no, <laughs> there's nobody in here. I don't even know anyone, so I can't call anybody. Oh dear. Yeah, that's rough. Wow, just sniffle. Why does Maya feel so sniff alone? No friends, family hates her, dog died? <gasps> oh my God. Oh, she just activated an ancient temple defense. That other stuff sucks too though. <laughs> wow, okay. This is rough. Okay, should we make an offering to the sun glyph or the arrowhead glyph? I guess we have like the, you know, the sun above our heads. You wanna try that? Yay! Oh good, okay. There is a lot of stuff in this one. We do have a treasure chest though and some stuff that we can excavate. She's starting to get really miserable. <laughs> We've got some more artifacts from this treasure chest and we're excavating this thing. You have to get through the whole temple. I don't care if you pass out, we're doing this. Wait, she didn't even eat the grilled cheese. All right, that helps a little bit. I'm gonna examine all of these things and make sure I'm very careful about which one I use because it's sort of backfired on me a couple times. <laughs> Ooh, a lot of options there. That's kind of, uh-oh. Yeah, she passed out, okay. Um, <laughs> I guess we could go back out. It'll stay open, so we could go back out and let her nap. It's just really inconvenient that I have to do this. Like, why Why do you need to sleep? No, just keep napping. Maybe I'll pee in this one so I don't have to sleep where I'm peeing. That's probably for the best time. Huh? No, go use the bush. Oh my God. Hey, uh, do you want to chat? Wait, come back. I'm super lonely. This is like great timing. Share brilliant ideas. Oh look, they're dancing. Hello. Oh, oh this is good. Maybe we can become friends. Yeah. Oh yeah, this totally helps. <laughs> Joke about body hair, mock facial hair. That's mean. They're a skeleton. Don't be rude. I don't think that I can build friendship with them. It's not working. <laughs> At least fixing my social needs. Oh yeah, this totally helps. I'm feeling a lot better. Okay, well you can go back and nap in the bush then. Yeah, these bushes are not that effective for resting. Okay, she's feeling a little bit better. I'm gonna eat this grilled cheese. Ew, she smells so bad. <laughs> Our needs are mostly back in the green though. So we should be able to come back into here and then, I don't know, make some guesses. I didn't get to finish examining this because I passed out. I don't know if there's like a trick to this or not. Oh, Maya learned this mechanism will unlock the gate. Oh, good. Okay, that's easy. Oh, thank God. I can just tell it a skeleton pun. Oh, such a relief. Okay, nothing 
something bad happened to us there. Well, we made it to the end of the temple. We can open both these treasure chests. How annoying that we were so close to finishing it last night and we didn't get to. <laughs> we got a bunch of artifacts. Oh, and we got waterfall in a bottle. That cleans us. Temple exploration complete. We found the ultimate treasure of the temple. We got 3,200 simoleons from that. It said I can look around for other discoveries before leaving. So maybe I should just make sure we got all of the excavation done. I'm so glad we didn't die. <laughs> I was convinced we were gonna die from that. So I'm really relieved right now. Okay, how about this? Let's go back home, like back to the vacation rental. We can shower, we'll take care of ourselves. Maybe we can start analyzing some of those artifacts. And then hopefully today there'll be some more supplies for sale and then we can buy them and use those. <laughs> Cause I want to do it again, but um, you know, things have not been going that well for us. <laughs> So maybe this way we can like eat a real meal or something. Oh, you know what? We can buy a meal. We could go into town and like order dinner or something. That could be kind of cute. Ooh, there's plantains over here. I think it's good for us to keep some like extra food on us. Oh yeah, look, they've got way more stuff right now. They sucked yesterday. Look at all these waterfalls in a bottle. We got some of that fizz plasma bat bait. Yeah, you gotta come buy everything before these people buy it up. Quick, they're buying it. Run. Yeah, we got loads of money, so there is no budget. I just want stuff. There's a dog. Its name is Samson. That's cute. We can order some food. Oh, it's pretty good prices too. Oh, oh, okay. I was gonna say he closed right then, but <laughs> we still managed to buy the, the meal, so that's good. Um, do you want to be friends? I'm very lonely. Yeah. yeah, we shouldn't go back into there until we fixed all of our needs. Well, there's also an archaeology table over here, so we could try to uncover this artifact-shaped dirt clump. I should probably let her sleep, but I just want to do it. One more thing, okay? <laughs> just one more thing. I need this for the aspiration anyway. Best, please. Not right now. Ooh, look at that. We have to authenticate them too. Oh my god, I should have let her sleep. She's gonna pass out here on this lot. Oh no. We have to run all the way back home too. <laughs> oh, it's genuine. Oh my god. Oh, it's rare too. That's pretty good. All right, you can go back home and sleep now. You're welcome. This is a lot better than sleeping in a bush, huh? <laughs> Didn't make it. <laughs> Sorry. My bad. My bad. You're almost there. You're almost there. It'll be fine. Why are you getting water? Go to bed. Sims are so weird. No, 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 no. You're you're gonna get attacked by plasma bats in the house? Are you joking? And you're homesick? Oh my god. Well, it's about to get worse. <laughs> it, it doesn't go up from here. I think it used the bait that I had. Well, that's good. All right, back into the jungle we go. So we've already been to this area. We've come up here too, but I think there was one more place that we haven't been that was through these gates because I went to the temple instead. So hopefully we can travel through this path. Temple is inaccessible right now as it is mystic rearranging. Check back in a day. So they're kind of different. Like they're almost puzzly where they change. So it's not the same each time you go to the temple. Been two recently. Oh no, we lost one of our machetes. Uh oh. It's a good thing we have two. On a jungle trek, Maya is watching the birds fly through the canopy when she almost stumbles over a very strange looking egg. A bird of prey is perched nearby and seems to be eyeing the egg hungrily. Try to scare off bird protectively watch the egg or miss the bird? Uh, I don't want to. Can I just ignore it? <laughs> it's not my problem. I guess maybe I'll watch it. Maya vaguely remembers a legend about a creature born from a strange egg. She tries to observe the egg scientifically, but ends up falling asleep. When she wakes up, there's an empty egg, no creature, and no bird. She is disappointed to have missed such a potentially significant scientific moment. That's fine. Ooh, we can go to the natural pool. Let's do it. <gasps> a sim. Oh my God, <laughs> there's people here. Well, that's a relief. Oh, and there's more. We can keep going this way. Is there anything here that we want to do? I guess if you want to swim, you can. We found the royal bath. This will get our fun up, so that's a relief. <laughs> Should I talk to this person? Fancy seeing you here, to be honest. Yeah, I got my fun all the way up. I don't really care to spend a lot of time here. I might just harvest some stuff and then get on my way. I'm curious to see where this takes me. Ooh, my moodlets are glitched. Maybe I'll save the game. <laughs> just, just to be safe. Oh no, I lost that machete too. Oh, oh, that's not good. Wait, do I have it or not? <laughs> I see them there. Okay, jaguar in the jungle. Maya hears a growl and slowly turns to see a jaguar patrolling through the jungle with something shiny in its jaws. The cat hasn't spotted Maya yet. Should she stop moving and wait for it to leave or try to scare it? Oh my God, don't scare it. You can't jump scare it, you'll die. Maya stands completely still as the jaguar walks close by. Her heart pounds as the jaguar ears prick up and the cat turns towards her. Fortunately, a loud noise far away in the jungle grabs the jaguar's attention and it bounds away. It'll be a while before Maya calms down after such a dangerous near miss. Ooh. Okay, well, we didn't die. <laughs> 
so that's good. Jaguar scare. Interesting. Okay, well, this place is kind of cool. There's a ton of plants over here. Do you want to harvest them? What's up the stairs? Oh, you can't get up there. Okay. It looks like it's a garden. I'll just keep collecting, honestly. I'll collect whatever you can give me. <laughs> I'll take anything. I don't know if we've got anything new to find today. We've been through all of the like different things. They do change a little bit, but for today, I don't know how much more we can do. So maybe I'll go back. We can go to the museum and like start trying to work on analyzing these artifacts. We've got quite a few artifacts to authenticate. So maybe I'll come here and start working on this. <gasps> I did not notice we had this. We have this gold frog that's worth 10,000 simoleons. Are you kidding? Oh, well, um, I guess we don't need to worry about money. <laughs> Rags to riches complete, I guess. This is real too. That's worth 808. This is interesting. You can send them away for authentication or you can do it yourself, which obviously I'm gonna do it myself. So the next thing on the aspect is to get level seven archaeology skill, establish three excavation sites, and find and authenticate five excellent quality artifacts. Whoa, it's a poor quality, but it's a skull. More poor quality. I guess we haven't gotten that far, so it makes sense they aren't that good. Excellent quality. Ooh, 933 smillions. This stuff is worth a lot of money. Well, I'm a little bit sad that we never died, because that would have been really fun. We did find a lot of really cool stuff, though, that's worth, like, a lot of money. I mean, if I sold all of these artifacts that we found, we'd get like what, 13,000 simoleons? We can also fuse a couple of these bases together. I haven't really used this much yet, but there's like so much stuff that we can do with these artifacts. Honestly, Jungle Adventure is really fun. I need to make more of an effort to play here again, because I feel like I haven't really visited this world much ever since we got Sulani, because I mostly came here as like a honeymoon destination for my sims. I just don't really go on vacations that much, so it, it kind of slips my mind. And you know what? Maybe just maybe for fun, we could um, kill her. <laughs> I can use a mod. We can force it to happen right now. Kill Sim. Okay. Um, Died from poison. Let's see what happens. Maya is dying from poison. Oh, oh, that's rough. Okay. Well, may she rest in peace. <laughs> the poison did get us in the end. The way that this death works, I think there's a chance of the poison like really developing like what happened to us earlier. And then you can try to use a computer to get a cure or you can just, I mean, you could let it take you. <laughs> Which uh, I think is more fun, but I understand why you might not want, you know, most of your sims to die this way. This one I made specifically for this video, so I don't really care. Is that bad? Is that mean? We had a good run, Maya. It was a lot of fun. I, I really enjoyed it. But um, on that note, <laughs> game over. You know, looking back on Jungle Adventure and playing it now and kind of thinking about my opinions today versus how I felt when it first came out, I will say that I have always loved the build mode from this pack. It's got some of my favorite landscaping and my favorite like floor tiles and stuff. I really like building with the items in this pack. I don't use the gameplay that much, but I do think it's fun when I do use it. It is one of those things that can be kind of repetitive if you do it a lot. They tried to do some stuff like having different temple areas unlock and having the temple kind of shuffle so the puzzles are different. But at the end of the day, it is kind of the same thing over and over where you go in, you examine the thing, you try and do the right one. If you get it wrong, it like punishes you. And there's a lot of funny things, like different funny things things can happen to you. It made us pee our pants. It made us lonely and sad. I mean, that kind of stuff is silly. The text boxes and all those pop-ups are super funny. And it is really fun to play. But just when I compare it to other game packs, I prefer to recommend that you guys buy game packs that have more replayability. And I don't think this one is like the most replayable compared to other game packs that might fit in more to your like everyday gameplay. But if you were to buy this one, I don't think it's bad. I think you'd have fun playing it. It just wouldn't be like the top of my list, you know? I'm curious to hear in the comments how many of you have this pack? Do you like the pack? Do you maybe want the pack? It's making me want to try and do a serious rags to riches where I have like zero simoleons and we try and make it through the jungle without any stuff. Because we had money this time so we could buy some supplies and it was still hard. Imagine if we had nothing going in there. But on that note, I think I'm gonna end this video right here. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know if I should make some other videos trying to go back and revisit other old packs because if I'm being honest, I'm kind of wanting to try and replay the Star Wars pack. I know, I can't believe I said that either but I kind of I kind of do want to give it another try. It's kind of fun to try and look at these older packs with like an objective eye again years down the line because the first review stuff that I made on Jungle Adventure was years ago. This pack came out in 2018 so it's kind of cool to see how it holds up now and like compare it to more recent stuff and I really do think it's fun. It's just not the best game pack. But anyway, thank you for watching. I'm gonna leave this one right here so have the best rest of your day and I'm gonna catch you all tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody.
You know, I'm kind of sad we didn't get to die naturally. We still got to see the death, but it would have been fun if she had just died randomly in the middle of the video. 